IELTS speaking. Welcome everyone to Super Duper English IELTS speaking course. In this lesson, we will focus on how to answer the speaking part one with questions that talk about like or dislike. Stay focused, grab your pen and notebook because you do not want to miss any information from this lesson. Firstly, we would learn about the most common questions with like or dislike. Then we would provide a guide on how to answer these questions, and finally lots of sample answers that you can practice with. Most common questions with like or dislike. Do you like something? What do you like about something? What do you dislike about something? What do you like to do in your free time? What plus noun do you dislike? Is there anything that you don't like? Guide to answer. Step one. If your answer is yes, use one of the phrases below to paraphrase the question. If your answer is no, use one of the following phrases. If your answer is it depends, explain the context. Step two, expand the answer. Give detailed information by answering the WH questions respectively. For example, do you like reading books? Well, yes, reading books is right up my alley. Whenever I have spare time, I will go to the library near my house to read books. My favorite genre is thriller. It kind of helps me to let my hair down and to satisfy my curiosity. Let's practice. Example one, do you like traveling? Step one, answer the question directly. Yes, I would like to say that I'm a travel enthusiast. Step two, expand the answer. When I am available during weekends, I like to travel to some tourist attractions in Vietnam with my parents or sometimes with a company of friends. It enriches my knowledge about different places, how beautiful they are. Also, it is a perfect chance for me to get away from my daily routines. You know, life would be monotonous if you stay in one place all year long. Example 2. Are there any vegetables that you don't like? Step 1. Well, to be honest, yes, I loathe eating spring onions and garlic, which are two of the most common vegetables here in Italy. Step 2. Actually, I have never tried eating them fresh because I can't stand the smell. I usually try to replace them, if possible, or fry them first before adding to any dish. Example 3. What do you dislike about your job? Well, I have to say the overwhelming workload is something I am not interested in. I mean, I've got a very hectic schedule, which means I'm always up to my ears with deadlines. That leaves me with very little quality time for family and friends. In the future, I might look for another job that is a bit less stressful. Let's practice with more examples. Do you like shopping? Well, yes. I would like to say that I'm a real shopaholic because I can get a sense of satisfaction when buying something I like and being more confident in my appearance. At the beginning of a month after receiving a salary, my friend and I usually go shopping to a mall. Do you like shopping? No, I detest shopping. Shopping is a tedious and mundane task for me. I find it exhausting to navigate through crowded malls and endless aisles, trying to find something I may or may not need. The whole experience feels like a waste of time and money, and I would much rather spend my leisure time doing something more enjoyable and fulfilling. Do you like shopping? It depends. I might enjoy shopping if I'm in the mood for it and if I have a clear purpose or goal in mind. For example, browsing for leisure without any specific intention can be tiresome for me. However, if I'm shopping for something I genuinely need, or if I'm with good company, the experience can be more enjoyable. Do you like wearing jeans? It depends on different situations. For casual attire, a pair of jeans seems to be a perfect choice for me, and it also makes me look a bit younger. But I detest wearing jeans in summer, 
especially when the weather is boiling hot because jean is not a light fabric. Do you like eating healthy food? I am really interested in healthy food because it keeps me from getting hungry, makes my muscles strong, and helps my brain work effectively. That's why I try to eat as many vegetables as I can on a daily basis and avoid junk food like snacks. Do you like eating healthy food? No, I can't stand eating healthy food. Healthy food often lacks the flavors and satisfaction that I crave in a meal. I find myself dreading the bland taste of salads and steamed vegetables, preferring the indulgence of greasy, unhealthy snacks. Additionally, the effort required to prepare healthy meals feels like a chore, and I would rather opt for convenience over nutritional value. Do you like eating healthy food? It depends. Generally, I appreciate the benefits of eating healthy food for my well-being. However, there are times when I crave indulgent or comfort foods, and healthy options may not satisfy those cravings. So, while I recognize the importance of a balanced diet, my preference can vary depending on the circumstances and my mood. Do you like going to the zoo? I am very keen on going to the zoo because it gives me the chance to get closer to nature and wild animals, which could only be seen on television without the zoo. Besides, it helps me broaden my horizons about some animals' habitats, like what food a monkey likes to eat. Do you like going to the zoo? No, I loathe going to the zoo. The idea of confining wild animals in cages for human entertainment is appalling to me. I find it distressing to witness these majestic creatures deprived of their natural habitat and forced to perform for the amusement of visitors. Furthermore, the crowds and noise at the zoo only add to my discomfort, making the experience wholly unenjoyable. Do you like going to the zoo? It depends. I might enjoy visiting the zoo if it's well-maintained and focuses on conservation efforts. Seeing exotic animals up close can be fascinating, especially if the zoo prioritizes their welfare and education. However, if the zoo is poorly managed or if the animals appear distressed, it can be a distressing experience for me and I'd rather not go. Do you like recording your voice and listening to it? As covering songs is right up my alley, Recording and listening to my voice is one of my hobbies. In addition to covering songs, I often record my voice when I practice speaking English so that I can correct my mistakes and make gradual progress in terms of my speaking skills. Do you like recording your voice and listening to it? No, I don't enjoy recording my voice and listening to it. Hearing my own voice recorded is a cringe-worthy experience for me. I am overly self-conscious about how I sound, and listening to recordings only exacerbates my insecurities. The slightest imperfections or nuances in my voice become magnified, leaving me feeling uncomfortable and dissatisfied with the sound of my own voice. Do you like recording your voice and listening to it? It depends. Recording my voice can be useful for professional or personal purposes, such as practicing presentations or leaving voice memos. However, listening to my recorded voice can sometimes feel awkward or uncomfortable, especially if I'm overly critical of how I sound. So while I may appreciate the utility of recording my voice, I may not always enjoy the playback. Do you like going to the forest if you are free? I would definitely say yes. I'm a big fan of the forest. A trip to the forest gives me a sense of refreshment because admiring nature helps me to unwind, release a lot of burden, and refill my pack of energy. Moreover, I can acquire some knowledge about nature and wild animals there. Do you like going to the forest if you are free? No, I'm not fond of going to the forest if I'm free. The thought of wandering through dense forests fills me with dread and unease. I'm not particularly outdoorsy and find the idea of being surrounded by trees and wildlife rather unsettling. 
the potential for encountering insects, snakes, or other critters only adds to my reluctance to venture into the forest, and I would much prefer to spend my free time in more familiar and comfortable surroundings. Do you like going to the forest if you are free? It depends. I might enjoy going to the forest if I'm in the mood for outdoor activities like hiking or camping. Being surrounded by nature can be rejuvenating and provide a much-needed escape from urban life. However, if I'm feeling tired or not up for physical exertion, I may prefer to spend my free time indoors or in a more relaxed setting. Do you like your hometown? Yes, there are many things I'm really into when living in Vina. Firstly, it's where my relatives and best friends live, so I always feel a strong sense of warmth. Also, Vina has a lot of tourist attractions where I can come and meet international visitors to improve my English ability. Especially, I enjoy the vibrant beauty of the city at night. Do you like your hometown? No, I'm not keen on my hometown. My hometown holds little appeal to me. It lacks the excitement and opportunities that I crave in a living environment. The familiarity of the surroundings only serves to remind me of past disappointments and missed opportunities. I find myself yearning for the vibrant energy of larger cities or the tranquility of more scenic localies, making it difficult for me to appreciate or feel a sense of belonging in my hometown. Do you like your hometown? It depends. My feelings about my hometown can vary depending on various factors such as my personal experiences there, the community, and the opportunities available. While I may have fond memories and a sense of nostalgia associated with my hometown, there may also be aspects of it that I dislike or find limiting. So, my opinion of my hometown can be nuanced and subject to change. Do you like music? I'm a big fan of music and it also plays an important part in my life. I'm really into going to a lot of music festivals such as Moonsoon, which is held in Hanoi every year. Even when I am busy, I play recorded versions on my laptop all the time. Do you like music? No. I can't stand listening to music. Music has never resonated with me in the way it seems to for others. I find it distracting and often overwhelming, especially when trying to focus or relax. The cacophony of sounds and lyrics only serves to irritate me rather than provide enjoyment. I prefer silence or the sounds of nature over the artificial melodies of music. Do you like music? It depends. I enjoy listening to music in certain situations, such as when I'm relaxing, exercising, or socializing. Music can enhance my mood and provide entertainment or comfort. However, there are times when I prefer silence or when I find certain genres or songs grating to my ears. So, while I generally appreciate music, my enjoyment can vary depending on the context. Do you like reading books? Yes, since I am a bookworm, I am deep into reading books, especially real page turners because this brings me a lot of advantages. Firstly, it gives me relief from stress and slows me down after the daily rat race. Secondly, it also broadens my knowledge of different cultures and lives. Do you like reading books? No, I loathe reading books. Reading has always felt like a chore to me. I struggle to maintain interest in the storyline or characters, and the act of flipping through pages feels tedious and tiresome. The time investment required to finish a book often outweighs any potential enjoyment I might derive from it. I would much rather engage in other forms of entertainment that don't require as much effort or concentration. Do you like reading books? It depends. I love reading books that capture my interest and imagination, transporting me to different worlds or offering valuable insights. However, not all books appeal to me and there may be genres or styles that I don't particularly enjoy. Additionally, my enjoyment of reading can be influenced by external factors, such as time constraints or my mood at the moment. Do you like history? 
Certainly, I'm a big fan of ancient history. I enjoy reading about old traditions and customs. It lets me expand my outlook on modern society and teaches me lessons I can learn from. Each time when I open a history book, I get carried away for hours. Do you like history? No, I detest history. History has never captivated my interest in the slightest. I find it dry, dull, and irrelevant to my life. The endless dates, names, and events seem disconnected from the present day, making it difficult for me to muster any enthusiasm for the subject. I would much rather focus on the present and future rather than dwell on the past. Do you like history? It depends. I find certain aspects of history fascinating, particularly when they relate to topics or periods that intrigue me. Learning about different cultures, events, and perspectives can be enriching and thought-provoking. However, there may be other areas of history that I find less engaging or relevant to my interests. So, while I appreciate the importance of studying history, my level of enjoyment can vary depending on the subject matter. This is the end of the fifth lesson of our IELTS speaking course. Subscribe to our channel so as not to miss the upcoming videos. Bye-bye.